Hello everyone, welcome to e class time. In this video, we shall be dealing with class 7 computer, and the chapter that we will be dealing today is class chapter 6 advanced features of Excel 2010 charts. Okay, and dear friends, if you remember, if you remember in our previous class, I had spoken about database and prior to that we had spoken about excel so introduction to excel we got after that in that excel how can we create the database that we have come across and here we are going to learn about charts now what is this chart your friends you remember well i believe that database was a explanation where i was telling that the friends records our students record can be kept be it for the exam purpose or whatsoever now let, let's take for an example for the exam purpose only we take okay now in the exam suppose one of my friend one of my friend is getting 80 percent the another in english the another person friend of mine is getting 90 percent another friend of mine is getting just 40 percent okay now that that whole record i can simply type there in the excel chart and i can keep but suppose a person simply wants to understand it the person has to read it at the same time suppose another at the same time another option this actual gives us that i can draw some chart sorry okay i can draw some picture okay some bar okay bars the bars i can draw and i can simply show one bar will be a little longer red color another will be a little shorter another one will be again short okay that way simply giving the color on it and i can say that red color the tallest one stands for the person one who has got more the second one stands for for the person one who has got little less so that way with the chart only i can simply explain with the picture okay uh, the comparison between the datas okay not necessary that it always stands for comparison not not at all necessary for that but of course certain times it is um, certain times it is mainly for the comparison it is used okay so ms excel has that particular facility also that is what this particular chapter speaks all about okay and the uh, charts that it, it presents not merely the bar diagram okay but even the pi ones also it presents okay and without delaying much let's go to the objective types ones okay let's see what does this objective contains okay mistakes again here with the b no forget uh, please focus on this this particular image that i have given you okay and here it is like tick the appropriate options okay from the following and we are given five statements for all the five statements we need to have the appropriate ones and here are the appropriate answer for all the five statements okay now let's go to the next one next one contains like fill in the blank okay and we are given five blanks with the five statements we need to fill them accordingly and if we fill them the answers will follow like this chart word art bar chart files and level so these are the answers for this and when we go to the next one we can find write the true and false statements five statements are there whether these statements are true or false we need to find them out okay let's see what are these statements okay so here are the statements okay first one is false second is true again false true and true last two last two statements are true true okay then what follows next is again the unscramble unscramble of the words your friends as i had told in my earlier videos that this particular words actually are the keywords of the particular chapter okay if you go through the chapter surely you will understand here it is not understood because they are not put in order let's see what are those keywords see these are the keywords if you go through the chapter surely you will be coming across this particular words okay and even they will have some definitions of, over this okay so dear friends that's all happy to share with you all okay a class time thanks you that's all See you guys in the next class.